Welcome to Super Starcraft Bros. Masters Tuesday. That doesn't rhyme. No, it doesn't. All right. Well, we have a game for you today. Um, Surprisingly. Is this the... Uh, yes, this is a TVZ on good old derelict watcher masters level because we all we are in all sorts of needed of games so we got a masters for today if you have a bronze silver gold platinum or diamond game for us please send it to super at gmail.com and with all of that out of the way iron sparks yes true the internet is fixed yep so introduce those players and a bottle of corner we have our red terran soul and his opponent, the Blue Zerg Spigaz. That sounds painful. Alright, I feel like I haven't seen this game in forever. It's because you haven't. I know, it has been forever. Uh, and for those of you wondering, forever is approximately uh, eight days. About a week and a half. Yeah. Alright, there's one of those flying puff things. And uh, one of the cute little robots are building a box. Alright, looks good. So if you guys are curious why there was no game yesterday... No internet! Why? Well, yeah, Ish. Uh, there's just really no game to cast either way. And unreliable internet. Yeah. I know, Iron Sparks is, uh, he texts me like, alright, I got four games, I got these. And it's like, oh. Yeah, alright. Yeah. You know, because after... League of Legends was proclaimed uh, real sports, so now everyone's watching and playing that. But you know, I think after not doing anything for eight days it'd be more replays to look at to there was less through. there was less there was like nothing <laughs> you like started finding all the games from last week <laughs> yeah <laughs> get to page two and it's the games so far oh at. i don't know so help us out guys send us your replays at superstarcraftbros at gmail.com because guys if we don't have replays there won't be videos and that'll make that'll three make people like eight very of you very sad and mad yeah <laughs> All right, so we got a little bit of worker battle down there. Uh, drone is trying to battle away. I don't think he actually got into the base to do some scouting. I no, think he's... he went all the way around. Did he? All right, well. Uh, hatch going up for Spigaz as well as a spawning pool. So pretty basic from our Zerg player. Uh, Soul getting out of rain early on. Uh, we'll probably see an expand from him as well, though it's a little riskier on this map because it is a little smaller. All I have to do is get a bunker up. Yeah, well, uh, I mean... Even though the ramp's kind of like that extra wide version. Well, if you get like a bunker right here, it's, I mean, it's because normally you're not going to see the Zerg opponent do a very heavy push early on. So you should be safe with a bunker with some Marines sitting outside. Um, so it's it's pretty safe, especially at this level, it should be pretty safe. Well, I mean, he did see that. I, I believe that he's done a bit of scouting. Uh, he should know that the expansion is down, that it will delay any type of Zerg rush or timing attacks, things like that. He's actually in there right now. Yeah. Uh, so he should be fine. Um, Zerglings are popping out now, probably to deal with that scouting uh, SCV and also get some map control, Zilnaga Towers, the yada yada. Although these are exactly the most useful towers in the world. Uh, no, they're, they're not, but I mean, might like, as well grab at them. At all. I know, I know. <laughs> And uh, back at Soul's base, we do have the command center being built inside his base just for a little extra precaution, and he has completely walled off with that other supply depot. And a secondary barracks is just about to finish. You know what I haven't done in a while? What? Stream. Why? Because I didn't The feel internet's like... been unreliable? No I, just, no, I just didn't feel like it last week. All right. Um, I don't, I don't even know if people really want to watch. I watched. You're also one of the people who actually watch these videos. I actually didn't watch last week's. See? We got all those views without me. <laughs> we have a Marine scouting up to... I think he's going to poke his head into the third. And see if a third has been laid down by a Zerg opponent. There are two Zerglings coming down to see what is going on down here. There is a bunker underway. Not complete though, but there are three Marines standing at the top of the ramp. And they're easily able to mow down the, the scouting links. Yeah, it looks like Spagaz has taken this top Zelenaga Tower. Curious why he chose the top and not the bottom. Although now he might be going for the bottom. Yeah, it looks like... You know, they really are lousy Zildnaga Towers. I, know, I mean, even... Yeah, you can maybe spot a, I mean, a drop, but and not if they go up and over. I, I don't, it's kind of bizarre. I mean, one in the center... But there's this fire here. I know. I think... I think one in the center would also make sense. But there's fire. I, you can have a tower where I don't know. I, just, I don't like the towers in this map. It's, I mean, it's not really going to spot 
drops because you can go outside. But it, the edge. it could if you're careless with it. Yeah. And you can also spot when someone's trying to expand to any to this one or maybe this one. So you're gonna spot the fourth? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. If you scout if you're scouting on the fourth base is the Zelnaga Tower, you you might need some help. Alright, um, we have uh creep tumors going down for Spagaz. Uh he's got a bit of a wall off with Roach Warrens and Evo Chambers. I really like this. And uh, back at his back at uh, his base, he does have the research underway for Zergling Speed, and uh, he's just macroing up like a Zerg uh, on uh, five Red Bulls and a five-hour energy. And back at Soul Space, we have a reactor going off in this factory, but I'm pretty sure that's just gonna be switched out to, to Starport, and uh, just continue to uh, bio production. You know, I honestly think that he should have some type of Hellion play in here or battle or uh, that not battle, uh, or Hellbats. They really shouldn't have messed with us and changed the name how many times. That was really annoying. You know what else they changed? What? The Warhounds. <laughs> <laughs> I miss them. <laughs> I miss the Goliath. Goliath online. I really miss the Goliath. Do you guys miss the Goliath? How many? I mean, if you guys played uh, Brood Wars or just regular old Starcraft. But you um, Thor. Thor? I don't like Thor. I, liked, uh, I like the Goliath better. I like when Pacific Rim came out. Blizzard said, uh, yeah. you know, when the giant aliens came, we had to make a suits of our own. Yeah. And we had a picture of a Thor. Yeah, I like that. Did you guys go see Pacific Rim? We actually saw that on Sunday. It was awesome. You know who didn't see it? What? A lot of America. Why? Because they wanted to see Despicable Me 2 and Grown Ups 2. Now, we did see Despicable Me yes, last I, week. Yes, I don't blame them for seeing that movie. Despicable Me was awesome. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I never saw Grown Ups. I grown -ups. think I've seen, like, a total of. 15 minutes of it. I mean, like, I'm sure it could be funny. I bet it's... Uh, I mean, they're funny guys. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know if it beat up Pacific uh, I was, Rim. Pacific Rim had uh, good, good developed characters. Love that. The graphics, the CGI was amazing. It looked realistic. It didn't look... It didn't look CGI. -y. It, did, it didn't look like Star Wars Episodes 1, 2, and 3. Like, fake-ish. They look fake? Yeah, they look But Yoda fake. looks so real. He didn't look like a puppet. Yeah, all right. Yoda was good, but the rest, no. Okay, we have a drop, and it, uh, if his trajectory does not change, he is going to fly straight into the Zelnaga Tower. Which it will not change. No. The factory is just floating in by seeing the third for the Zerg player, and uh, it has now entered the circle. Yeah, so this uh, this drop is going to be picked up by Soul. Uh, bad move on Soul's part. But you know, this spine or might not finish. What's a spine spore? That would be OP right there. <laughs> All right, so uh, here comes the drop. The queen did run away, so there's no aerial defense. There are a couple things that just popped out. There is another queen moving in from the creep. She must have been the designated pooper. And uh, nothing is going on with this except for good old surrounds on Terran units, which are dying. You know, if I was still right here, I would have just say, hey, you know what? Let's, Let's go give to another up base. while we're ahead. Well, I mean, he could have went north. He could have he could have maybe dropped onto the mineral line of the natural or the main. I know, but like you see all the zerglings and the queen, you know there's a spore. I think it might just be better to get out, like save, I, save your losses. I think that the medvac pilot who just did that drop was owed money by every single troop that was in the medvac, and instead of her like you know continually pestering them to pay up, she just went ah screw it, I'm dropping you to the zerglings. Well, shouldn't she go to like prison for that? You know, no one lives long enough for the Terran forces to actually go to prison. What about Rainer? Been there. Done that? Yep. What about, uh... Tychus? He's dead. He was dead. He was in prison. He was. And then they put him in prison again by sealing him in his suit. So there must be two type of marine suits. Alright, we have a drop in the main. We'll go back to the game, guys. Uh, it looks like a queen is taken out. We're gonna have some drones killed. Now there is a baneling nest, evidently, on the field. Haven't been paying too much attention to this game. Ling streaming in now. I don't think they're really gonna be able to do much. There's not much to pay attention to. Nope. Drones getting thrown down into spines to try and help something, but there's actually yep. been a lot Here of damage the roaches. done. That was a good drop. Good pickup of the troops. No one was lost. Scan goes down to destroy some creep tumors. That's always fun. Got nothing? Nope. Iron Spark says yawns. 
All right, so it looks like this medvac is going to join up with the forces for like, Soul, and they uh, are running away. Something Soul could have done, you know, when he was dropping up here, move his army right here. You he could have. You know there's not going to be that much defenses. You were just there. You know, the only thing is because there is decent creep spread on that side of the map, the forces could have easily turned around and went back. Yeah, but this is a decent amount, and you can load up most of them and fly away. Um, Upgrades. Are we sitting at 1-1 one, one now? 1-0. One, Almost 1-1. One, one. Armor is just about to finish. And uh, for the Zerg player, we have 1-1. Uh, one, one and zero we do have another drop attempt on the third but it looks like uh spagaz picks up on it and instantly moves his roaches and links back up see i'm happy this time that he he, he picked him up yeah uh, he is he's definitely showing a lot more control on the drops than he did on that primary one uh or preliminary one and it looks like we do have an expansion from soul to his third and he does have a couple units up there just in case some type of zerg attack does come before the command center lands uh you think orbital or you think it's going to go to a command center or not command center, uh, planetary. I'm going to say orbital. He could have morphed that in early, though. I think he might actually go planetary on that one. Oh, huh. yeah, I guess know. so. All right, uh, we do have medvacs getting very far ahead of their uh, units behind them. Why? Huh? Why? He's not very leaving his base mode, so it's not like he has to worry about coming back to defend. Maybe he's, uh, I don't know. Oof. This is not going to be good. This is going to be ugly. Those banglings are going, Peanut butter during time. Peanut butter during time. Peanut butter during time. It's not a good. I like how you tried to go faster that one time, but you messed up. I got tired half <laughs> I really did. Like you started going faster on the first half of peanut. Peanut butter during time. Peanut butter during time. Peanut butter during time. <laughs> All right, drone is going to pop down this hatchery and be greeted with a lot of mist. Never mind. Going to be greeted with Medvax. Oh. Hero scouting drone. This cannot be masters. It is. Damn. They lowered the lowered the criteria for masters. All right, we got to stim into the main. We have all the roaches and zerglings already up there. Good concave on the roaches. Going to push back these Terran units. A couple of banelings finally roll in there. Looks like a couple of the units were rescued by the medvacs, and now they're going in to destroy these creep tumors because that is a complete waste of a scan because it doesn't make any point. How come you complimented him doing it down here? Because it made sense. Doesn't he should have bugged here. out there because the creep isn't going to dis dissipate as fast. Yeah, but it prevents it from continuing. I think Spagaz needs to just make it's a huge same right here. Huge rush of units and go. Just do it, man. Just do it. Put your Zergi Nikes on all five million of your feet and go do it. Go. Go do it. All right, we have a little drop over here trying to clean up some creep tumors again. Oh! Oh, it's party. Leave no man behind. Take a fourth. I, I don't that's think part that, of the saying. I don't think that's part of the creed. I don't. <laughs> I don't think that's part of that rule. Yeah. All right. Looks like the uh, Zerg swarm is ready to start dealing with some doom. Soul does see this all. He's got his little platoon perched up there on top of the Zelnaga Tower. Another good pull off to try and get away. But he, he's got some good pickup on those medvacs. Yeah. Couple drops to try and stop these. Can he pick up? Oh, holy! Cow. I'm impressed by these now. That's a lot of banelings, though. You know, this is a lot for banelings to kill. It is. They can om nom that all day long. Unless the army's not over there. No, army is going straight for the base, which is actually a pretty good call on that. And it actually is going to mean that the banelings are behind with the roaches so a lot of the defending units have been destroyed by soul's main gate looks like the medvacs everything's move in i just don't like that there's anything to attack air and uh here come the the forces for soul as most of the zerg units move behind the mineral line of the natural now they're going to swarm towards that ramp and if the banelings can get in there and do some splash damage no, I, don't have some, it, uh, I don't even know if he needs the banelings really but a tear in time here we go Got that jelly just spread over there. Got it. Got it. Got it. Oh, look. He look, looks like he cut the crust off on that one. A lot of the preliminary banelings did uh, just kind of burst on the marauders, but it was just enough. I mean, just with all the roaches sent back, I mean, there's barely enough for Soul to clean this up. But I don't know. I mean, I, he's got a lot of. The only bad thing is there's nothing to attack yeah. these medvacs, so they're going to be able to stay in the battle. But even that, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I mean, Soul, he has a soul in it, but I don't know if he has his heart in this game. But, um, psh. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I mean, we have a bunch of lings hatching for Spagaz. Uh, we have infestors 
haven't really seen them used too much in Heart of the Swarm. You know what my favorite infester is? From the StarCraft ones, the derpy, the derpy infester. Oh god, I love those. I would love a plushie of the derpy infestors from StarCraft. Alright, so both players taking out their opponents. Force. Don't ignore that. I want the okay, derpy the plushie. Game. Does fourth, it have a derpy plushie? Fourths are falling. I don't care. I mean, fourths. Do you know how I, are falling? If the Zer could take their cocoon egg this technology. Did not fall. But that ball. Did you see how fall. many hits that, that that egg took? They just need to put that same type of stuff in all of their units. Kind of like their larva? Yeah. Alright, we do fungal. have a... Uh, holy hell, Fungal. Haven't seen that in a while. Fungal. He's gonna chain Fungals now. He's got fungal. enough investors for it. Fungal. That's kind of like putting uh, pickle chips on your peanut butter fungal. Uh, bainling sandwich. Can I hear another Fungal? Fungal. <laughs> you know... And a GG from Spagaz. It looks like he ran out of peanut butter and banelings. I don't know how this guy lost this game. Soul takes the win. I don't know how this guy lost this game. I don't know either. No, Did he have a macro house? Does he need one? He had four bases. And Do yes, he had one. a macro house. I don't know. Guys, leave a comment down below on how you think this went. Uh, send us your replays in at superstarcrows.gmail.com. Pretty pleased with the banelings, peanut butter sandwich on top. Good luck. Uh, have fun. GG.